What's up guys, my name is Dragon, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Now, since the last video, I did absolutely nothing, so you know what, that's, that's great. And today, uh, I'm probably going to do the same thing where, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record for an hour, and then split it into two videos, because that's what seems pretty logical, you know? But what I'm going to do, I don't know why all this is in here, but it is. What I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to start getting ready for different types of power. Because I have these garden collages, which are insanely good at growing, like, these dirt essences and all that. They're really good at growing, uh, at growing seeds. They're way faster than anything else. So they're optimal for that. And I also need to get a cow. But I don't know how to do that yet. Actually, no, I know I can do that. I just need to build another another place. But what I want to do is... First of all, do I have a wand anywhere? It would probably be in tools and armor. I do. Okay. I have two, actually. This one's not even that close. Well, that one's close to being broken. But that's alright. Alright, let's see. This is still breaking gravel. This guy is done with the gravel it has, so I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to grab another stack of cobblestone, not two. You go back in there. And I'm going to put those in there. And actually, I'm going to wait till two more break so I can just, you know, put them in there. These two, so I don't have to carry them. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab much of these I have a lot of slabs jeez there we go and then I have one one little slab actually I'm gonna there we go just so I have some left over and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to expand a little bit and I want to try and build another one of these for cows but I'll have to put it over there somewhere also the mob farm is absolutely terrible at the moment but I can I can fix that up pretty well. I've done a lot of the mob farms that I've done that are like that. Because I play this mod pack too much. Well, I, I played this mod pack too much. I used to play this a lot, but not really anymore. Except for right now. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I also wanted to bring up that I might start playing more uh, modded Minecraft. Because there's a bunch of mod packs that I want to record but I'm recording this one first, so I'm not going to. There's ones like Forever Stranded. There's a few of them that are like survival based where you're not stranded on a desert uh, planet or on nothing but a tree and some dirt. But there's other mod packs like that that I want to be able to record, but I can't really. And I just expand a little bit over there. Just actually, I'm going to keep expanding. Because what I want to do is I want to get a better tree farm. And that's not going to happen unless, well, I expand. So I'm going to do that. One of the reasons why mobs aren't really spawning in there is because I'm not, well, it's because I'm too close. That's, that's the real reason. But there is a block that allows me to be able to make it so they can spawn whenever and that is cursed earth which you will need to go to the nether first of all and you will also need a what is it not any of this you will need a drop of evil that's what it's called but I don't have one but a drop of evil turns dirt into cursed earth and that means mobs will spawn like crazy and that if I built a better mob farm will be insane even though I don't really need to build a better mob farm if I just put cursed earth in there and left it like this that'd be pretty good but I'd want to get mob mashers and if those are the same thing as these spikes they just kill mobs really easily and you can upgrade them so you can get them to do more damage drop heads a lot of different stuff you can get them looting not by enchanting it but there is 
mob masher upgrades. Like if I go into here, then there's let me see mob masher. Yeah, here we go. There's sharpness upgrades, looting, fire aspects, smite, bane of arthropods, and beheading. And the ones I really want to get is sharpness, but that's not that's not the um that's not the absolutely necessary one. The necessary one is beheading because skeleton wither skeleton skulls are going to be needed and as well as a lot of different uh, mob skulls and the only reason why mob skulls are necessary is because a lot of the stuff to make like powered spawners that also takes mob skulls and powered spawners would be helpful for like actual wither skeletons as well so I'm Going to do that eventually, but not right now because that will take a while. So what I need to do is I actually want to start with grid power because I don't think it's that hard to make. Let's see, grid power. Actually, I need to look up solar panels because those, yeah, these ones. It's polished stone, resonating redstone crystals, and lapis lazuli. Which I have. I have lapis right here, and now I need. What was it? Was it polished stone and redstone? So it would be in here. Redstone, which I do not have a lot of, and I should probably get more, but I don't have enough to get more. Oh, I have three in here already, so I'm going to just make twelve, I guess. So I'm going to put one over there. I'm going to grab nine of those. I'm going to put this one redstone back in here. And then I'm going to make... I... Okay, apparently they can't be made in your inventory. You have to do them in here. Oh, there we go. Never mind, it's not... For it's a lot of different stuff. Red stain and so crystals. If you <clears throat> there's there's one other thing that I want to get, and that is well, first of all, I'm gonna need a bunch of this, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Is not the deep dark portal, but it's what there's a portal, and it leads you not the portal. It's here it is. Beneath, it's the beneath, and it takes a lot. Unstable ender pearls are easy. I already, ha I can already make those actually. I just need my wither skeleton dust and four ender pearls, which I might have in here. Yep, here we go. So now I can make unstable ender pearls, and that's already done. So I'm gonna put those in here. Then need four. Quadruple compressed cobblestone, which is a lot, and then a uh, quintuple compressed cobblestone. So actually, I want to see how much this is. I'm gonna have a calculator out right real quick on my phone. That's eighty-five thousand two hundred and ninety-three pieces of cobblestone to get the beneath teleporter, and I have forty, about almost eighty stacks. So let's divide this by sixty-four. That's 1,332 stacks of cobblestone. That is going to take a while. So I need 1,000 and basically 1,400 stacks of cobblestone. So what am I actually going to do? Is I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna collect this and I'm just gonna start turning it into compressed cobblestone. Because why not? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna store these in here just so I know in the future when I'm actually ready to make the cobblestone whenever I have enough which is not gonna be anytime soon because this is slow and to upgrade it I need diamonds which I don't have any yet so I kinda need to get more cobblestone into there so I'm gonna do that I'm going to attempt to go into the nether and get a drop of evil Alright, um, where's my string at? That is if I have any string. 
I don't know if I used it at all somewhere or if I didn't that's the real question it's probably in here somewhere yep there's a lot of string the only reason I would have moved it in there is because that's where that's where all of my mob drops are and the only reason I'm making a bow is because of blazes those guys are annoying and I have plenty of arrows from the multiple skeletons that have dropped and by multiple I mean like a lot of them hundreds but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and try and get a drop of evil because I'm gonna need it and also I can get blaze rods for the cobblestone generator as well which is also going to be needed of course the one the one fireball he shot at me I get hit by it's fine what's cool about blazes is if you attack them sometimes they like stop shooting a fireball at you all right all right come on come on bring you bring your buddy with you no okay I'm just gonna kill you right here then drops of evil are like rare drops as well which sucks because I'm gonna need one of them and only one because I could just connect the dirt up when I'm up there and now I'm withered that's lovely can you get off the wall so I do not hit you off thank you very much all right, I'm just gonna stand back a little bit and heal up before I do. Okay, well, there we go. This is the way I wish I could fly, is because then it would be so much easier to kill blazes and as well as the little skeletons. Come on, I just need one drop of evil and I'm out of here. What's also cool about these clouds is if you hit them, they don't really see you. Come on. Like they just stopped following you for a little bit. And now there's a ghast. What a lovely surprise. Oh, here we go. Oh, did I get it? Yes, there we go. Okay, no. Oh, there, there's... Never mind, I missed both of those. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Probably will, but you know, whatever. It won't be too much of a deal to just oh, hit him. And he is loud. There we go. Alright, he's dead. Now I can get back and not get killed. I have the drop of evil I need to make my mob spawner way better than it is right now. And I have not enough blaze rods to change my cobble generator when it's at a tier 3 to tier 4, but you know what? That's alright. That's also another reason why I would like to go to the beneath, is because there's dirt patches, like, everywhere. And, well, not everywhere, but they're, they're kind of over the place. Oh, never mind, I do have enough blaze rods. I forgot that I had some left over from before, so now... I have one piece of dirt. Lovely. I need a lot more than that. Now these all should just go away really quickly. The only reason why I make compressed ones of these is because they have more durability. Oh hey look, there's a spider. The mobs are actually spawning now because it's not as peaceful. Oh man, I'm smart, aren't I? I'm not gonna do this for a long time. I just need enough to get enough dirt to cover up the top of my mob spawner. Not the top, but the where the mobs are spawning in. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. I should have enough to make a decent amount of dirt right now, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Eh, we'll see. Because I can fill these pieces, or these wooden barrels, all the way with a stack of dirt turns into eight pieces, or a stack of saplings turns into eight, turns into eight pieces of dirt. I'm going to die because yep I couldn't hit him that's lovely and now he is non-existent what he's here but not here 
what? I couldn't. Oh, now he's actually invis not invisible. That's lovely. Are you almost? Can you like not? There you go. Jeez. Oh, I know. I have I have one of the sides have dirt, and the other one doesn't. Okay. Well, I could use the drop of evil to make the other side have dirt. I don't have. I didn't have enough dirt to make my whole spawner into, you know, cursed earth. So I couldn't do that. But now I'm going to hopefully. And these go in there. I can grab this, and this can go in here. Quartz and rich iron chisel fluid bit tank. Don't know what that's for. Boiled egg, another axe, and a wooden chest transporter. That's helpful, but not right now it's not. Alright, it broke. Good to know. This is actually food. And then this is an one. There we go. That goes in there. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I don't know why that was peaceful, but I'm going to turn it back to, not hard, peaceful. I'm going to turn it back to peaceful, and I'm going to go up here and make the rest of it into dirt. Now I can leave, but first, actually, I'm an idiot. Now, I actually, there we go, I need to place the drop of evil. There we go, now all of this is evil, cursed earth, same thing. Now I can drop down here. There we go. Now mobs should spawn in this a lot. Well, hopefully mobs spawn in this a lot. Cool, stuff I don't need. Jungle saplings. Alright, take it easy. Okay. Yeah, a lot of more things are spawning in, so that's good. Hey, look, a rare loot bag. Jerkinator. Jerkinator. I can hold jerky in there. Green slimy dirt and inferium seeds. Actually, those are helpful. So I'm gonna put those in there. Don't know how you spawn. Oh, that's. I know how. Never mind. I was about to say, don't know how you spawned in, but I know. I forgot about the place I just built. That's where they're spawning in from. Apparently a bunch of stuff are spawning in there. I just want to kill this guy before he blows up anything. Okay, now if when I when I light this up, nothing should spawn in on here. Everything seems to be going fine in the chicken nest thing. Oh yeah, also if you guys want to know like where mobs can spawn in, just click F7. You can tell that they can spawn in places because it shows it with a yellow or red uh, little X. That's how you can tell. There we go. So I need to make power for these, and also I need to make, I forgot, I need to make the, I have polished stone. I need to make this stuff to run a resonator, which, actually, how do I make a resonator first before I will end up making it, okay, I need iron, two redstone, and a block of coal. That's... That's pretty easy. Iron, two redstone. Do I have coal in here? Yeah, okay. Block of coal. There we go. Now I can make the resonator, which needs eight grid power for it to actually run. So that's going to be a little bit, but none. I need to get redstone. That's the main problem. Oh, never mind. That gives me three solar panels each. 
That only gave me one. Also, it's night, so I mean. There we go. I should probably make a bed, you know, that'd be helpful. Because then. When it's nighttime, I don't have to worry about mobs, you know, spawning in on my island or worry about that happening where I don't have grid power. There we go. Bed. Grab my last piece of oak wood, put it in there. I'm actually going to move this torch and then place my bed there. There we go. 